Welcome back to Earthbound, episode 25. Okay, last time we uh, visited two museums and we unlocked this uh, sewer area. And I had to go back and get some equipment. Um, when I was in Summers, I bought some super plush teddy bears and realized I hadn't bought the weapons and stuff for that area yet. So I went ahead and did that. So now I got diamonds. Uh, bands on everybody except for Pooh, lucky coins on everybody except for Pooh, and I got Ness a new weapon, and uh, then I filled up Jess's inventory with big bottle rockets and went to the Lama and got some brain food lunches for uh, Pooh. And let's go in here. Now I don't remember what items are in here or if there's anything even good. Broken iron. I'll hold on to it. Jeff doesn't have any room right now. Yeah, we gotta go back in back there. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error because I don't remember a whole bunch of this. Pretty good chance for Pooh to get some level ups too. Secret herb. Well, that's semi useful. They get rid of uh, status elements. They also have like, I want to say 10%, but maybe it's like 25% chance of reviving a fallen comrade. This is disgusting. I would have just hopped over them barrels the hell of walking through sewer water. Okay, let's go up here and go back and check that door and see what was in there. I damaged two super plush bears. Nasty bug. Yay, Pooh finally got another level up. He ought to get a whole bunch of level ups when we beat the boss. Another trash can. Why are there trash cans in the sewer? That don't make no sense. Broken spray can. Bunch of stuff for Jeff to repair. Oh, Jesus. I think the broken spray can turns into uh, defense spray or bug spray or something. Um, yeah, I know. I think I'll just bash. Do freeze. Gamma. It's alpha, beta, gamma. And then Omega. Omega is the final one. That's what I was trying to remember last episode, but couldn't quite get it. Wow, these... Oh my lord. Good thing the Super Plus Bear took that. So these ghosts don't take hardly any da physical damage, it seems. So I actually need to go back. Let's see. Let's flash do it to one per- Okay, it's to all enemies. So let's do flash. Uh, freeze again. Then we will use a bottle rocket. Why not? And then we'll freeze also. Okay, oh, he's dead. This should finish him off. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, back into the water. Or do I- I might need to be out for this area. Oh, okay, there's another ladder. Um, 
Yeah, no, we're not. We'll try to avoid those ghosts. Let's see if we can scroll them off. Okay, he's gone. I'm curious what's in that trash can, but I also don't want to deal with the enemies. But then Pooh also needs the level ups, so... Seriously, scroll off already? How far back do I need to go? There we go. I don't even want to make a guess what this stuff is in the water. Yeah. That's a long way to backtrack to get one trash can. I think we'll get it on the way back. And that door. I think there's a blood butterfly room down here too. That might have been that door back there, but... Or it could be this one. Let's get out and check this door. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to fight these rats. Okay, let's do PSI Gamma. Um, PSI Gaming Gamma. Let's do Fire Gamma. Uh, let's just hit and let's see. We don't have nothing that does group with uh, Poo yet. So, how about a shield? Alright. Who got another level up? Finally. Magnet. That's Omega, right? A broken bazooka? Oh yeah, that's right. That's just next weapon, ain't it? Oh, go away. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Shoot. I was figuring if it was just one, it wouldn't be a big deal, but it's three of them. I'm gonna be out of PP by the time I reach the boss. Who got that level up? No new ability though. There's the shining spot. All right. I don't remember what this guy's... Did he just get paralyzed? Seriously? Okay, whatever it was, it's gone. You finally got here. This is your fifth year sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Okay, um, I think he has a shield, but I don't remember. So let's hit him with gaming. 
Let's also hit him with a freeze. Let's hit him with a big bottle rocket. And let's hit him with another freeze. Okay, it doesn't have a size shield. PSI. That's good. I bet he has a physical shield, which make that bottle rocket bounce right off of him. No, he don't. I could have swore he did, though. Oh, not the, oh shoot, I'm out of PP with uh, Ness already. Let's see. Do I have anything I can... Oh, that is not what I was trying to do. Uh, let's just bash. We'll use Paula, so I got enough for another freeze. Yes, I do. Uh, let's hit him with another bottle rocket. Good. Brain food launch. Use on Ness. Okay, we'll beat him. Easy peasy. Now, yeah, we should get some level ups. Alright, got uh, PSI Freeze Omega. I, th I think that's what that symbol is. I'll have to look it up, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Now, Pooh should get a couple levels. Oh, he only got two. His levels are starting to slow down. Okay, we should get a shining spot. This is probably my favorite looking one right here. Ness saw a baby bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's sound still recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Isn't that beautiful? This should be the carrot key, right? Yeah, carrot key inside. All it takes. Back up and back down. If I ever make a game, I definitely wouldn't mind. I'd like to have one that has the same ability where you could scroll enemies off. It most likely was a limitation of the game at the time, but it does make a pretty cool feature. Run away! Oh my God! So many enemies on the screen. The game is physically slowing down. Wow! And it's weird that you get slow down because this is emulated, so you wouldn't think you would get slow down, but it does for some reason. That's the ladder I need, isn't it? I think there might be one all the way at the beginning, too, though. Yeah, now that we got the carrot key, we can head back to the Lom, and we can do the sanctuary location there. That's also the area where you get, um, I think you get the braces for Pooh, I want to say. That may be wrong. I know you get one of his equipment items there. And with what we got equipped, we could technically go straight there. What I think I need to do is put the broken items in Jeff's inventory and then go to, um, what is it? Uh, Saturn Valley? Oh no. Pictures taken instantaneously. 
I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Yeah, let's teleport to uh, Saturn Valley real quick. Okay, now we need to do some rearranging. Um, Jeff has three slots. Give bottle rockets to Paula. Uh, let's see, I guess we need four slots. Give to Paula. Okay, let's see. Broken iron, give to Jeff. Broken Bazooka, give to Jeff. Uh, let's see, Broken Spray Can, give to Jeff. Um, hmm. Is that all of them? Okay, I didn't need as much room as I thought. Okay, let's go into the uh, hotel here. What we're gonna do is we'll sleep a couple times and see if Jeff will repair some of these things. Do you want to slumber? Yes. Nothing. Okay, let's go out. Go back in. Jeff's intelligence might not be high enough. Working throughout the night, Jeff fixed the broken tube. After being fixed, the broken tube become the Hungry HP Sucker. Which is like an upgraded version of the HP Sucker. I know there was an HP Sucker in the game that's good, and it might be that one that I was thinking about. Working throughout the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can became the defense spray. The defense spray can be sold if I remember right. Working throughout the night, Jeff fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. The slime generator just freezes people in place, kind of like um, PSI Freeze does. I think the only thing we got left is the broken bazooka, right? And if that's his next weapon, he might not be intelligent enough to fix it yet. Okay, one more try, then we're gonna go sell these things and continue on. Okay, yeah, Jeff's intelligence must not be high enough yet. Okay, let's go to the store here and sell what we can. Is it this one? Yes. Hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You can sell too. I, Mr. Saturn Boing, can do all for you. What do you want? Zoom sell. Let's get rid of this. Oh no, not buy.
Okay, now the other two things I don't think you can sell. The slime generator. Oh, you can sell it. Alright. Give me that money. Okay, what was left? Uh, the hunger HP sucker? I think I might hang on to that. Okay, well we're done selling then. Now we need to move them bottle rockets back. And, um, I will probably go buy some more before we go to the Lom. Okay, now we need to go to summer so we can buy some more big bottle rockets for Jeff. We only need a couple. Um, let's see, Paolo's inventory looks good. Yeah, Jeff needs two more bottle rockets. Alright, so we could probably go without them. I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and head to the lob. When we get there, we can um, talk to Pooh's sensei, or his, no, his father, I think. And we can recover our PP to we waste the teleporting around. Your future battle will be considerably, considerably more dangerous than you expect. Don't be careless. And then he heals us. Screen goes black. Comes back. All right. Now we can make the telephone call. Wow. Who only needs 800 more in EXP? We're about to get a whole bunch of EXP in this next area. Stop by the store. Nah, we're good. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. I got this cool carrot. You want it? Paolo used the carrot key. How strange. The rabbits and the carrot disappeared all at once. They're ninja bunnies. Okay, well, we're gonna do this cave next episode. If you like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Hope to see you next time.